What's up guys? Welcome back or to the channel. Today we're do we're actually going to the auto show. Obviously you guys know my truck's been sitting there. We're going to go there, hang out for a little bit, uh, see what's going on, walk around. Obviously my truck's there, just going to go kind of experience uh, the rest of the show because I really didn't get to see that when I was parking my truck there. But this week I said like got lots of parts coming, lots of stuff on its way. My lift and my wheel should be shipping very soon and I got other performance parts on the way as well so it's gonna be an exciting week coming up here but we're gonna head down to the auto show now and um take a look oh guys we only have the jenna and just like the truck we're also out of gas I'm trying to steal my uh steal my light here with the lime scooters hey ben do you even flex he must work out oh, man, he I must work like out I should get the Jeep up on here. You should, I think. <laughs> oh, dude, that'd be lit. <laughs> that'd be the best picture. Actually, to get the like, Jeep actually, like, bump it and it just falls over. <laughs> now, ben, not only do you flex, but do you bang, bro? Yeah. You bang, right? Yeah, well, I chugged, I chugged mine outside. So I'm like, <laughs> I'm cold, but I'm also like... <laughs> I know, straight up, I am kind of cold and drinking this. I'm literally getting on edge right now. Oh, my gosh. It's already busy. It was last night. <laughs> it is. We walk in this, oh, this was the picture they posted here, but the real, I gotta find it, no, I gotta find it, I gotta find the angle, look at this. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I don't know if I can visit it, no, there's the truck. I know, um, what's his face? The guy, he got a blue, indigo, blue, red eye, put the white stripes on it. Okay, real talk though. That white's sick. It is, but I like that orange better. Really? Yeah, 100%. I mean, obviously mine's blue, but. <laughs> Yeah, no, this is 100% better. Hey, look at that tint on that spider. I mean, you can, you can't you can't miss that. There it is, <laughs> bro. This thing looks bad over here. Look at this, dude. First of all, what the? No, the truck that's behind you. That one was on its seat. Do you remember that? I think it might have, but dude, my truck looks so darn good right now. Wow, clean. Man, that thing looks good all shined up. Literally, Matt did an awesome job on that. Yeah, no, that tire shine is gonna be all up the side of my truck. <laughs> That's why I don't like tire shine, but I mean, whatever. He... It looks good when it sits still. Oh yeah, definitely detail the thing right though. Wow, dang. Oh yeah, no kidding, this thing was at SEMA. Yeah, do you remember? What's up guys? I do remember this. Remember how loud it was? Yeah, the pipe right there? Yeah. We should go back to our video. I mean, not to mention this was also at SEMA, but <laughs> he even cleaned the springs and frame. Wow. I mean, I don't know about the double diamond looking like Louis Vuitton, but like <laughs> the red wings. Love that. Should I do a seven inch tip or should I go eight? Eight's huge, but seven is like, that looks good, especially when I'm lifted. Because right now the six looks puny at that. I mean, it looks average on that height, but like my truck's going to be huge. I don't want to be too gaudy. I think seven would be, fun, would be fine. The, I know, the but, but would just be like, is yours gonna have the green lettering like this one has the red? It's awful. You that can actually paint would be it. dope. I think you can paint it, right? Is, is that just like they're an insert inserts? Or? But no, they're welded in there. Oh, That's the thing. Are they? And my thing is, yeah, with, just ask well, with the soot, it's just gonna black out anyway. That's my problem. Yeah. However, I don't know if I should go seven inch or eight inch. Now they have dual, and then the the chargers have those inlets now. They're not lights, but they're oh, yeah. yeah, those. They're like accents. Oops. All right, guys, obviously we made it to the auto show. What better badge color is there this year, uh, especially with St. Patrick's Day tomorrow? And uh, you guys obviously know the truck. So we're here. You'd be surprised at how many people actually try to open my truck, especially with the door locked. You see how many people come up there and grab the door handle, try to open it. But I guess it's part of the show. Everyone wants to be involved. So I get it. But at the same time, uh, let's, see, let's see if he tries to open this one. Ben, I think you need to, you need to like re-engineer your Jeep so your tailgate folds down. That'd be sweet. I don't know Glad if they have kits or stuff for it. And obviously with your swing arm, if you get one, you can swing the tire out and then just fold this down. That'd be dope. No, you just have the tire on it and it just... <laughs> yeah, it runs right into the bumper. <laughs> it folds straight down. It, it drops this far. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> tire catches bumper. You're like, ah, I was trying to eat lunch, but... <laughs> oh, you can get those Jeep tables that come off from here. Well, I know, but it's but, not as cool as like oh, this whole thing dropping. Gate. It's actually, it's funny because we have the fifth tire mounted now. It's kind of neat, I guess. Actually, this Delete. is probably the cleanest one I've seen so far. Yeah, the cleanest delete and the ooh. Yeah, the way the camera oh, fits in and man. the third brake light. Did they trim that to put that in there? Because whatever. Also, let's just not put this in the right spot. Oh, that was 100% me. 
Because we we were rushing to get the top off. No, those those right there, that's the 38s, I think were 2400 bucks. But dude, they look awesome. They do. With the 22s, they look sick. This is how builds don't come together. Like the fender liners are still being shipped. The swing arm was still being shipped. I mean, it looks kind of cool because you can see up in there, but at the same time, <laughs> it's like totally not like drivable here because all the salt that just suck up in your air intake. I know. See, you know, I'm not gonna lie. See the leveling kit on top of the six inch, that looks awesome. But the leveling kit on top of the six inch, this thing sits right on the 37s. But ah, uh, that just looks awesome. Dude, <laughs> this truck sits so much taller just with the two inch leveling kit. That's insane. These things are just so darn small. Like, it's almost unusable. Yeah. Oh, I'd assume they're fun. They're three grand brand new. Yeah. No, remember we thought about buying them? Yeah. But I'm like. I saw two of them yesterday on the way home from there. Oh, I know. Look at this one. You're going to get a whole bunch coming out? Yeah. An old school ground? Did they make it to look retro? Yeah. That's dope. Like, this is brand new off the showroom floor. Yeah. That's cool. It kind of looks like the, the, the gold wing. We're going to chop the pipes and make it sound like a Harley. <laughs> yeah, we're going to make it sound like a Harley, so he's running around like... Yeah. This thing's it, actually pretty cool. Oh, Pro Comp lift. Oh, dude, it's green. Yeah. Oh my gosh, I thought it was black. I thought it was black, too. No, it's actually painted. Yeah, I told you, it's painted. Damn, you can actually see the lines. It's only 60? That's actually a steel. Is this gas? No, yeah. oh, that's no fun. I like that it's a two-door long bed. It's a gasser. It's an awesome like green metallic here. This is awesome. I didn't realize that. I thought it was black in the pictures I saw online. I think if you go small wheels, you have to go like all out and go with like the 17s. Yeah. You can't also, do 18s if you or have 20s. Mud, if you have mud trains, you should probably have mud on them too. Right? I know. I don't know who I don't know who did that. Oh yeah, we this know is, the, this is the, the only place. This is the real experience. This is the only place you should go. I'm gonna run through. Oh, what's up, guys? What's up? All right. So how many miles you put on this thing today? Twelve thousand. <laughs> wow. Oh, well, I mean that's less, but that's just what it's got right now. Twelve thousand something. Yeah. Oh, you can see your truck. Yeah, it's way over there. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I know. I love that. Twelve inch screen. That's twelve inch screen. Kickflip. Ooh, I wish. <laughs> You're yelling me to take this thing slow, slow one more time. It's, it's over for me. <laughs> First day, they like practice. I was like, hell yeah! Hit <laughs> 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 like, it! it. Thing oh man, I had it my way. Just go up and over it. Like, whoops! The gator skin seats. Oh yeah, that's, this one's like, like I said, it's like kind of like the Wild West edition, the long one. <laughs> I say this is the <laughs> only one that comes with this interior. It's awesome. Yeah. I know, I love it. The ages over here and everything. It's. I just love how they actually have the cooled seats in the rear now. Yeah. I think I hit. I think I hit too many buttons because I may have requested a quote when I didn't want to, but we pretty much just did that for the free shirts. I know. I'm like, ah, please don't call. Real talk. What color is that? That's different. Slate gray, is it? Or no, that's like a no, blue. That's a different. Yeah. That's like, what color is this? Go to that window sticker on there. Maximum steel. They've been running this on like Great Cherokee. Oh so yeah. Like, Any Dodge. Yeah. I do remember seeing that. I ne I've never seen one in person because I don't think anyone's ever ordered one. Yeah. It's. A, I gotta fix this. I'm sorry. Man, it has the it has the Falcons too. I just never seen that like a company becoming standard with the Falcon Wild Peaks. Real talk. Did I mess up buying my next build? Or should I put this on like 42s and taking it to SEMA? No, because that's going to be my next build. <laughs> Damn. I'm the Jeep guy. I know, but I'm the truck guy, so put it together. I also like Jeeps and I also like trucks. But this would have been an awesome build. It's a nice red, but this is legit. I mean, Ben had it right on the mark with fertilizer green. That's a, It's not the name of the color, but that's what we would call it. But it ain't even on fours, so I'm not impressed. Yeah, but his. Do you uh, see the blue carpet? This, I know. I was. I considered <laughs> twisting mine, but I really. Well, I don't. What is that all about? I have no idea. But every time I've ever seen one, they've had like mustard in it for some reason. But also, the crystal hood ornament. That's some. That's some something. Ooh, yeah, I do like it. However, if I did buy a Lambo, 100% would buy the car, not the SUV. Yeah. I get it. All I know is this guy gets it. This plate is 100% true. He's got the Lambo and his plate says mindset. It's 100% mindset in life, guys. 
you put your mind to it, you can do whatever you want. This guy has a down pat. Love it. This exact setup right here, in my opinion, is the best looking new truck. The GMC with this uh, red and black scheme going on is 100% the best looking new truck uh, out on the market, hands down. But I legitimately cannot get enough of this plum crazy um, color here. This is a new red eye, but I can't. This color is awesome. It's so good. I mean, yeah, a lot of people like to touch everywhere with all these fingerprints, but what I'm saying is um, this car is definitely going to need a buff, but <laughs> this color is awesome. would go perfect with my truck. Definitely would. So if there's one thing I'm going to need after the show, what is it? The Hellcat. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Oh, oh, actually, no. I, no, because you, I you just saw it happen. Yeah. A new, door, a new door handle for sure. Multiple door yeah. handles. Hands down, new door handles. It, it's the truck's locked, and everyone thinks that it's open, so they just go there and yank the handle, and then for some reason, and after then they the, try again because they don't think the first time worked. <laughs> so it's not going to be unlocked the second time around. <laughs> the funniest one though, like I mean, everybody keeps doing it to your truck, but like the, the, the red eye that's over here, kid that was up on it, grabbing it with one hand, and he went up in these odd two hands trying to open it was probably the funniest. I'm like, do you know what it's? You, do you know what it takes to replace a door handle on like a ninety-seven thousand dollar car? And your I response know, was, you know, ask your dad. <laughs> yeah. You, you like grab it again. I start walking away. I was blown away. I'm like, okay, now there's two people. Okay, okay, and they both grab it. Like, why is everyone attracted about the door handles? She's like, oh, I'm not, I'm not strong enough to open it. Her boyfriend's like, here, let's both do it <laughs> like, at the same time. <laughs> Don't be a little. Let, let's both do it and both break it. <laughs> and I, it's, for some reason, it's the passenger side more than. Or maybe I'm just not on the driver's side, but man, it's because people are coming from like the, out of the other stuff and just like they see hard. it. No. Look at the difference in how this is set up now. Like I said, everything's all neat and tidy, but you guys saw the back end of it before of how different it looks and how put together it does now. It's just, that's my favorite part. All right, guys, leaving the auto show. Met a couple of you, which was awesome. We're going to head home now. Uh, super hungry and um, also cold, but it was an awesome time. We're gonna, obviously going to be back there tomorrow to pick the truck up and uh, try to film some of the uh, exiting process as we're there, that's for sure, because that's that's always a fun time. But that's where we're gonna end today's video. Tomorrow I'm super excited because we finally get to bring the truck back uh, home. I get to drive it again, and nice weather, it's all clean, stuff like that, so it's gonna be awesome. I'm super excited, and the fact I got parts coming next week is gonna be even better. I wanna leave you guys on one note here. Like I mentioned in there, if you guys saw that, that Lambo, he 100% has He's spreading the right message there. You're never gonna get to where or where you want in life or doing what you want in life without the right mindset. You can't wake up in the morning, um, whether you're 16 or you're 60, you can't wake up in the morning and be like, I'm never gonna buy a Ferrari. I'm never gonna do this. I'm never gonna own a new Cummins. It's just never gonna happen. It's all mindset, guys. If you have the right mindset, you'd be surprised at the people you run into, the connections you make, things you talk about, because you know, if you're always like, oh, well, I'm never gonna buy a Ferrari, and you don't say, and you're like, oh, never gonna do that, and then you never, you know, it never comes up in your conversations with people you meet or anything, you could say, yeah, man, one of, the, one of these days, I'm gonna buy a 458. You're like, oh, dude. Well, and then you start talking to this guy, and then now you know him, and he puts you in a connection, gets you the job you want, stuff like that. It's all about mindset. You'd be surprised at where mindset takes you. And when you have the right mindset, and you, when you set the right goals, you'd be amazed what you can achieve. And I'm, I'm 100% that is exactly what the guy who owns that Lambo has um, has done. You know, he, he, he started with, you know what? I'm gonna own this Lambo one day. And you know, he worked every day for it, worked towards that goal, and look what he achieved. Like I said, guys, it's all mindset, so I just want to leave you guys on that note. So, I know, because I said, I walk around these shows all the time. I show you guys my truck all the time. Um, you guys, a lot of you probably watching this video be like, man, and I see a lot of comments all the time. It's like, man, I wish I had a truck as clean as yours. And I'm telling you guys, it's mindset. So, it's like, set yourself some goals. Keep your head high. Even though days where, you know, you think things aren't going right, just, re just remind yourself that it's all teaching you a lesson. It's all, you know happening for a reason just keep going set your goals keep doing everything every day to reach them and you i promise you you will this is where we're going to end today's video and tomorrow is going to be exciting because we're bringing the truck back i'm going to show you guys the exiting process of like indoor shows like that 
it's actually quite uh, quite the it's quite the show itself trying to leave shows like that. The last three years have been something else. Obviously, I didn't have my vehicle there, so it's gonna be a little different. I'm gonna bring you guys along, and it'll be very interesting and uh, cool for you guys to see that. So I want to say thank you guys for watching. If you haven't been here before, please get down there, click subscribe. Mods coming this week. Lift kit wheels and tires should be here very very soon. Uh, last I heard, uh, lift kit was done being powdered. And the wheels were in powder. So those should be shipping this week. Uh, I know I got a two-week window, like Monday last week. So we should be very, very close uh, to receiving those items. And we can get them on the truck. And like I said, this will probably be the first and last show my truck um, is with the setup you guys saw. I'm super excited to put that new lift kit on and the uh, new wheels for sure. And once I take them off, obviously you guys know, I don't know if my buddy's buying some of these parts or not, but the stuff will more than likely be for sale. So thank you guys for watching. Take care if you haven't been here before. Like I said, please click subscribe. Shoot this video a like if you enjoyed it, and I will see you guys tomorrow.